Hey everybody, it's Brian, uh, back with you on Heavy Bass Rig Channel. I've been hearing a lot about these Ernie Ball Cobalt strings. Um, they've been trying to sell them to me at Guitar Center. The last couple times I've bought strings. Uh, I've been reading about them in guitar magazines and everything. So I wanted to see what all the hype was about. So I went and bought a pack. I'm going to put them on uh, one of my five string basses and see what, see what the deal is. So I thought I'd share it with you guys just in case you were curious too. Um, go, go ahead and pick up my uh, one of my five string basses. It has a, a fairly fresh set of uh, regular Ernie Ball Slinky 5's on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just play a few riffs. Got my amp all set straight up all the way across so there won't be any uh, tonal things coming out of the amp. Going to set all my settings uh, dead zero on the, on the bass. Volume all the way up, both pickups on. Um, just everything else neutral on the bass, just so we can see what the actual strings sound like, see if there's any difference. So first I'm going to play uh, just a few riffs, probably do something with a pick, and then a couple things with my fingers, uh, just to get a sound, a good sound um, of the regular slinkies on the bass. Then we'll change up the strings, and I'll play the same songs again, the same riffs from the same songs the same way, with all the settings exactly the same. Um, and we'll see if we can notice any difference between the uh, regular slinkies and these uh, much more expensive cobalts. Thanks. Alright, so I've taken off a set of Ernie Ball 5 string slinkies for the bass and replaced them with a set of Ernie Ball cobalt slinkies for the bass. Same gauge, same manufacturer, just a different material. Um, the only thing I could really tell about the difference, I uh, noticed the Cobalts were quite a bit brighter sounding and they seem to have quite a bit more output. Um, they did to my ear seem to be a little bit more even on the, uh, the gauges of the strings as you went through the strings. Uh, seemed to me that the, the regular slinkies I had on there um, weren't quite dead sounding but just weren't quite as full sounding uh, when you got down to the A and the D string. These seem to be a little more even on the, uh, the sound and the tone of the strings. Seems to be a little more even across all the strings. Uh, but I'll play a few sound clips and let you guys be the judge. 